Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 5, but also Season 6. So, if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DCTV videos over the summer. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about some deleted scenes from The Flash Season 5, some from the finale, some from the 100th episode, some big ones. And this is actually all coming from Pagey, so I waited about a week and now we're finally getting around to talking about these deleted scenes. So these deleted scenes are known. They're not unknown ones. So, you know, whether it's via social media or they were actually shown like as and they were shot as deleted scenes. Some were just in script and stuff like that and in concept. But these are known ones. So we've heard about it throughout the season. But Paigey was able to put it all together and give us a whole sort of batch of deleted scenes that maybe we may see in the DVD and Blu-ray release later this August. So we're going to be breaking it down, talking about all the individual scenes that we know have been deleted as of right now from The Flash Season 5 and we're going to be talking about maybe what it could have added to the show if they were to actually include the scenes but you know some are probably best deleted. And just before we get into this video, so I made this announcement in the past two videos I'm actually going to be going to San Diego Comic Con this summer, so if you're there, please be sure to say hi to me. If you do actually see me, I'll be there, Pagey will be there, Eric Reloaded will be there, a bunch of us are going to be there. So, I'm super excited to see all the panels, see the trailers when they're released. But, I live in London, and San Diego is a long, long way away, and it's very expensive, so I've set up a GoFundMe page, and you can go check out my specific video on all the details, but I'm going to be giving away exclusive San Diego Comic Con Funko figures to a batch of you who actually helped me and right now we're currently at about 320 plus super chats as well which is via live stream so I can't count that right now but that is nuts guys I want to say a massive thank you to all of you who have helped out especially Dolores who has donated 200 and you guys really mean the world to me and this is my dream to go so check out my GoFundMe page or you can do it via Patreon a few of you guys have done it via Patreon or Super Chat if you prefer to do it that way that's only on live stream so whenever I'm doing that but yeah so that's the announcement and I really appreciate all of you guys who have been helping out so thank you alright let's go ahead and get right into today's video so Talking about these deleted scenes, let's jump straight to the finale and talk about what was supposed to be in the finale. So, the first one that was mentioned is we were supposed to find out about Nora's birth date, like when exactly she was born. So I'm guessing this was maybe a scene they shot, I reckon, and probably in the end they were like, no, I don't think we need to use it. Or it could be just in terms of script. And so... Would it be too concrete? I think that's the question. Like, if they gave away Nora's birth date, they are setting a definitive date, and yes, Nora's been erased, but remember, Reverse Flash, who is from the original timeline, remembered a daughter called Dawn. So maybe this is them thinking, oh, wait, this means that we have to get Iris pregnant. Iris has to be given birth at this specific date if we do set it and this sort of links into the end of season 5 with the newspaper article how they didn't set a date I think it just gives them a lot more freedom so if they were to say Nora's birthday we would be expecting a form of child whether they call her Nora or whether it's twins like the tornado twins or they call her Dawn instead I think it's just to give them freedom that's probably why they deleted it because we would totally be expecting it and if it was as Nora is supposed to be she's about you know 27 ish years old I'm not exactly sure that he never said a specific date you would have to guess she was born around 2020 ish like maybe 2021 2022 so with that you would presume that the flash is probably going to go on till that specific date because you know, it's not going to go anywhere, at least until Season 7, and they will go on much further because it is the CW's highest rated show, and it's mainly to do with Grant if he wants to leave or not, and I don't think he will anytime soon. So, potentially we could go to that birthday where they were going to set Nora's day, and that brings the expectation of, you know, them having a child to look after in the show. So I think they just basically didn't want to limit themselves. 
Okay, so let's go on to talk about a deleted scene that we know was 100% shot. So Canada Graphs actually got a video of this. So I will leave Canada Graphs' link in the description below. You can check it out and maybe I'll have it on the screen right now. I'm not entirely sure. But basically what we see is a, the very same scene that we saw in the time vault, it seems to be happening outside and this is 100% in 2049, this was completely deleted and it seems to be exactly mirroring the scene we got in the time vault when they saw Nora's message, so is this in the future, this is some sort of, you know, hologram outside, is it a futuristic way of Nora sending a message? Like, I'm not exactly sure what's going on, but they are in the exact same position, they're in the exact same pose, and they're in the same clothes, and they seem to be portraying the same emotions. So, it seems like definitely this is just like a different alteration of what became the final scene, or one of the final scenes in the episode. So, yeah, very curious, they would have gone back to 2049, we saw all the futuristic cars around, so... Yeah, definitely very interesting. So that would mean that, yeah, it doesn't seem like if they were there, a version of their daughter exists. Maybe? I don't know. But let's move on to talk about the next bit. So we're jumping all the way back to the 100th episode. And if you remember, around October time, we all went to MCM London Comic Con. DC World was able to get the news that Zoom was coming back. I was there. And we talked about him, we were freaking out. And once we got to the 100th episode, we had Zoom, Savitar, and Reverse Flash returning. And it was excellent. It is easily one of the best episodes recently. And one of the best episodes, I think, of all time. I think it's such great fan service having all these villains come back. I remember freaking the hell out, especially with Zoom. And so, Zoom was supposed to have another interaction with Barry. We don't know whether it was with Nora as well because the new interaction they had in the 100th episode was with Zoom unmasked and it was Teddy Sears as it was originally and he knows and finds out about Nora and he finds out that they are time travelers from the future. This is not his version of the Flash. So that scene was so freaking good, it was so amazing, and then Zoom actually chases them through the city, and he's pulled away by the time wraith, so we don't know what happens to that version of Zoom, so there's definitely a way for him to come back, and he knows about Barry being a time traveller, he knows Barry gets away with it, and everything is fine, and he knows that Nora exists, so he has a child. So, there is a way for Zoom to return, and I hope he does return sometime, but there is supposed to be another interaction with Barry and this other scene is supposed to be with Teddy Sears and he is a Zoom but on Mars. So what was happening? I don't know. I'm guessing as Paigey said maybe it was to remove just an excess scene from the episode that was just fan service and wasn't anything too impactful like just making the runtime longer basically so when they maybe cut the episode first they had it in and they were like mm, which scene can we cut let's cut that scene so I think it's unfortunate for us because we want more and more of Zoom because in my opinion Zoom is my favorite DC villain like in all of the Arrowverse so I freaking love him and I would have loved more and I just love the scenes we got so I'm happy but at the same time a little bit bummed about that we could have got another Zoom scene Okay, so let me know what do you think about that in the comments down below because I know a lot of you will have opinions on that. And moving on to the next bit, so Sherlock was supposed to confront Iris earlier this season and it was actually in the synopsis for the 100th episode. So the 100th episode was very packed and I can see why they would delete this, but this never actually happened. And this, I remember breaking it down and then going into the episode and being like, huh? Where is this bit? But yeah, it seems like they probably filmed it because they included it in the synopsis so that they do the synopsises after they filmed it. So obviously in like the final cut, they were like, eh, we could delete this bit because maybe it was too early in the season because I feel like it would have been too early because we had all this build up to the big reveal and Sherlock revealing that he knows all of this was even more impactful than I think it would have been if they would have kept it. So. You know, I think that's a really good choice on behalf of The Flash. So let's move on to the next bit. 
Episode 5, we saw a deleted scene that they uploaded to their YouTube channel, that being the CW. And this scene included Ragdoll, and it was supposed to be like an end credits tag to the episode. And this was the introduction of Ragdoll, so we see him, and he's in Iron Heights, and we hear the whisperings of Weather Wizard, who doesn't appear again. So they are teasing something, they deleted it, and I'm guessing it's due to the act actually not being available that he didn't come back. But the reason for deleting it... Maybe run time, but maybe they found out, oh, he's not going to be actually able to do any of this. So let's go for the new rogues, which they do later in the season, which was just an okay episode. I thought it was good because of Nora, and that's about it. So yeah, Weather Wizard doesn't appear again, but Ragdoll does. Okay, last few scenes. This is all to do with Ralph. So Ralph and Sherlock are supposed to be doing more detective work together. That was what was supposed to be happening at various points in the season. So that didn't happen. I think that's fine. Like, I thought Sherlock was so good this season. I thought Ralph was a massive improvement from season 4. And they had some great interactions together. I don't think I was desiring any more detective work together. Because they're doing their individual stuff. And it's very interesting. Especially with Sherlock and finding out about Nora. Okay, so let's move on to the next bit. So... Ralph and Iris were supposed to team up sometime this season, I think it was nearer to the end of the season. That was just probably just a concept and they were like, mm, we could do something else. So I don't think that's such a big deal. But let's talk about the last one. So Ralph Dibney had this advertisement board that was seen in a photo, I believe from the set, and it was on a billboard. It said private investigator Ralph Dibney. And I can see why they didn't include it. Damn, that design of that billboard is shockingly horrible. It is terrible. That is 101 how not to do a freaking billboard when you're doing graphic design. It looks like a piece of shit, so I can see why they didn't include it. Okay, so that's all of the deleted scenes. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was informative. Hopefully you liked some of my opinions, like why they deleted it or not. So I believe a lot of these are probably going to end up on the DVD. They tend to release a bunch of different deleted scenes. A lot of small little sequences they do, like just like 15 seconds. Some are much longer. So when it comes out, I'll be the first to talk about it on the channel. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to check out my GoFundMe page and my Patreon. And... Also, if you're in the live streams, come to the super chat. And so, for the last time, thank you guys so much for all the support on the channel. Leave a like and share this video so loads of people can see it. Lots more than we are currently getting right now because this is summer. You know, not as many people watch and not as many people are typing up. So, it would be really appreciated if you do share it. But like it because actually likes help. Apparently it recommends to lots of people on YouTube, so that would be a great thing if you, you guys could do that for me. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.